Today I'm going to show you guys how to tie the non-slip loop knot. Whether you're fishing inshore or offshore, this is one of the best knots to use. It's extremely quick to tie, incredibly strong, uh, and it adds a lot of extra action to your lures. Whether you're using paddle tails or top waters or even weedless presentations, it doesn't matter as long as there's no split ring or extra swivel and it's a direct connection to the hook and you're looking to give a little bit of extra action to your jig, paddle tail, whatever it may be, this is the best knot for doing that. So the first step here, regardless of whichever lure you're going to tie this knot onto, is to create the initial loop for your loop knot. As you guys saw, all I did there was take the tag in, double it over the main line, run it back through that initial loop and you end up with one of these small loops here. Now, if I hold this vertically, you guys can see there is a top side and a downside to this loop. This is really important to identify the two. Again, top sides over here, downsides over here, just by the way that it's slanted. That's really important as we continue to work on this knot to get it to cinch properly. If you don't identify the top side and that downside, when you go to cinch the knot, it's not going to go down right. So we just put it through the eye of our lure. Again, if you're using a top water, that would just be that top swivel right there. And if you're using a weedless presentation here, again, it's all the same for each lure. So we're gonna go through the bottom side of that loop coming through to the top. That's our first step. So going through here, we're gonna pull that through and get that little loop a little bit tighter there. And then we're gonna run this tag in around the main line two to three times. I prefer two because it's just quicker, ends up with a cleaner knot. So you got two wraps there. And then we identify the top side and the bottom side of that loop again. It looks like top side is over here. So we're gonna turn this a little bit and run it back through. Sometimes that knot wants to go down, but we're gonna run it through this hole right here between the two of these loops. So it needs to go through right there, hold it here. And as you pull down, what you're gonna end up with is a nice, tight, clean knot. As you guys can see here, I'm gonna let it focus back up. Really nice, clean knot. And if you want to trim this tag, I usually like to trim it down about halfway through that loop, just like so. And again, sits real nice in there, really low profile, and uh, by far one of the strongest, fastest, most reliable knots I know of. I use this for pretty much every single one of my artificial lures. As you're working it, the extra freedom that that loop allows when you're letting a lure drop or you're jigging it, uh, there's so much extra action you get out of using these loop knots. And if you guys wanna see more knots like this, we do have a knots ranking page uh, on saltstrong.com. Lots of really great information there and a free PDF guide that you guys can bring out on the water with you if you want to keep all that knot information handy. So definitely check out some of those tips uh, and go to saltstrong.com. We've got a lot of other great tutorials like this. And if you wanna see anything else uh, in terms of knot tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below and I can make more videos like this one. So thank you again so much for watching. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club out there because we actually guarantee we're gonna help you catch more fish, save time and money on tackle and make friends fast or it's free. So thanks again so much for watching and we're hoping to see you in the Salt Strong Insider community soon.